What's up, guys? It's uh, Jack and Dave. Dave uh, from 360 Fitness Red Deer. And uh, today we're just going to go over a couple back exercises using the cable machines. So the reason we're doing these videos is because 360 Red Deer now has open gym on Saturdays from 10 to 2. So we've always been open uh, 10 to 2 for personal training, but for our members, we have open gym access. That means they can come and use the gym, they can come and use cardio, they can have access to the whole place for, for uh, uh, four hours every single Saturday, which is awesome. But our clients are asking us, you know, different exercise techniques and stuff, and we'll shoot some videos so you guys can watch these on Saturdays. Okay, so Dave and I will be going over the lat pull down and the seated row today, all right? So lat pull down, uh, this guy is obviously for our lats, our biceps, and our forearms, and the entire posterior chain and the upper back, all right? So it's great uh, for a posture, guys, to kind of reset that sternum, pull your shoulders back, get that chest up nice and high, and it really, really works on our internal and external rotators. So this one's really, really cool. So I'm gonna do a couple demos. Dave will show you what's up. Seating is super, super important. I know it sounds corny, but we're gonna start with that. So when I get in here, guys, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not too tight, but I'm nice and snug underneath. What you don't want is a massive gap underneath, because as we go, we're gonna have to lift up our feet, we're gonna have to pinch, we want a nice flat foot, and we want our thigh nice and snug and being nice and secure underneath, all right? Especially as the weight gets up and the load gets up, this guy's really, really important, all right? Cool, two things on these bars. This is a lat pull down bar, very generic. The wider I grab, the more lats I'm gonna work. The more narrow I grab, the more forearm and bicep. It's a combination of all three, your lats, your biceps, and your forearms, but you can change emphasis. So the wider you go, the more lats, the more narrow you go, the more arm dominant it's gonna be, right? So we're gonna kinda go neutral for this one. I'm gonna grab it in the edge, make sure I'm nice and symmetrical. I'm gonna get nice and snug, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, full extension. <laughs> so what you were seeing when I was doing there, I'm kind of aiming for the top of my sternum, right at the clavicle, okay? So right at the top of the chest, as my collarbone comes into my neck, that's my aiming spot, okay? That's where it's all going towards it. If you can't go full range of motion on that lap pull down, drop the load, leave, leave the ego at the door, go full range of motion, make sure those elbows are kind of coming in, all right? So see if you can kind of come to the back again, I'll do some more commentary. So when we're doing this, when I'm grabbing, I'm gonna go full extension at the top. So I'm gonna let those shoulder blades kind of veer out to the sides, and then I'm gonna drop my scap down, pull to the top of the chest. This is the slow motion version of it, but then once you get better, you let the shoulder blades down and up, or into the top. Oh, right. So when I'm when I'm doing this guy, I'm bringing my elbows in behind my back. So rather than thinking about bringing that bar down and rolling it in, I'm drawing my elbows into my pockets, into my pockets. So rather than rolling down, okay. So don't think about how deep the bar is in that mind to body connection. Focus on how deep that humerus and that elbow is. So pinch it behind your back and imagine your elbows have to clap behind. So you get that nice strong contraction. Okay. Are we gonna sneak in for a seated row? Another cable machine. Awesome. Okay. okay. So for a seated row, so we have the two big large back muscles are your latissimus dorsi and the guys in between your shoulder blades. These two guys. There you are, awesome. Our mid traps and our rhomboids. So those are the guys that hold our scapula down and flush, our shoulder blades, but then also bring our scapula together and stabilize it in the back. So it's a huge posture muscle, and it really just helps their entire posterior chain. And it's a stabilizing muscle on the back there as well. A lot of times people have a stretched and weak rhomboid mid-back from having crappy posture all day in the office or all that fun stuff. So we're gonna stretch that guy, or strength that guy, so it stretches their chest a little bit more and resets their shoulder blades, all right? Same thing goes in the lat pull-down. We start with our feet and our foundations. So I'm gonna get nice and structured. I'm gonna put my feet even on it. I'm gonna grab whichever attachment I have, whether it's you know the wide grip or the small grip, whatever else. I'm gonna grab neutral. Now you'll see a lot of times people will just grab this bar seriously and grab the top and the bottom or the bottom and the top and they're gonna go right wrong or right off the bat. So make sure you're nice and even. 
So your first rep on this one is your most important. I'm gonna get my shoulder blades down, my chest is up nice and high. Push off with my feet. Full stretch. And then a mount. Okay, so when you're doing this guy, again, remember that it's my depth of my elbow, my depth of my humerus. So if you can't get that bar all the way into the chest and you find your shoulders rolling to kind of finish the movements, it's crap. Lower the weights, get that full range of motion, keep that chest, that sternum, up, 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 that core nice and tight all the way through. And then also, if you didn't see my hips, my hips were nice and solid, and I had a little bit of sway from my hip on my spine, but not much. We'll do a couple exaggerations movements. So this isn't doing much for me. Okay? So nice and strong. You can have a little bit of sway in the hips. You can have a tad momentum, but it has to be a controlled force. And then bail out properly. Okay? So your first rep and your last rep on a seated row are so, so important. Especially because on a seated row, it's it's kind of a power lift. You can you can do quite a big load on this one. Now it's it's going to think that, all right, in your second, third, fourth rep is the most important, but how you get in and how you get out are really, really important on this one. Um, I think that is it. If you guys have any questions uh, about the lap pull down or the seated row, let us know. Or any questions about uh, Open Gym on Saturday, shoot us a message. Bye.